Hey guys, we're going to show you how to catch some lobster. So stay tuned and we'll show you the gear and setup we use. We'll show you how to get them free diving and what we do when we're diving. And finally, how we clean them so that you can eat them and store them for the year and have them for dinner. Basically, you pull people along, um, you get two people on a rope, and they'll just look, you know, 15, 20 feet behind the boat, you just pull them over, and when they see the antennas, you usually don't see a whole lobster. They just let go, tickle them out of the hole, and uh, scoop them up with a net, measure them, and then bring them in the boat, and uh, fill them in the live well. Gloves, which are garden gloves, just the orange garden gloves you buy at Walmart, because their Florida lobster don't have claws. Most people don't know that, that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but they do have spikes on their back, so you need to wear gloves to pick them up. You also have these, which are lobster loops, that you uh, extend it, get them around the tail, pull them tight, and pull them out. What we like to do is when you get a lobster in the net, one, uh, you need to get them tangled, so if the lobster's in here, we'll loop the net around so the lobster's in this part, part and we'll trap them like this. Then we'll go up to the boat, and we'll hand it, and the people will take the whole net, take one of these, toss us a new one, and they'll untangle it. And we'll make sure you have marker jugs ready if you find a good spot, because the current will get blasted and you won't be able to stay on it. You can throw this in the water and just come back for it. You can get lobster a lot of times in uh, just five, six feet of water, right down there in the Keys. And all we need is a mass snorkel, gloves, nets, and tickle sticks. When you're looking for lobster, remember usually you're just going to see an antenna sticking up. When you're tickling it, you're not poking it or jabbing it. You're just nice and easily rubbing its chest, and that'll make it walk out. And then you may need to gently push the back of its tail to guide it into your neck. Remember, lobster swim backwards, so always come at them from behind. Make sure to have a gauge on you while you're in the water. It's part of the Florida law. To measure them, just go between their eyes. If it drops past the hard shell on their back, then it's too small. A lot of times lobster are under little ledges, um, it may not be anything huge, it may even be a single hole, so make sure you look for those sort of things. Sometimes if you see a spot but don't see any lobster, it pays to check under it because they can be pretty deep back there. Here's an example of how it's hard to see the lobster. Um, you just gotta look for that antenna, and sometimes even if you don't see an antenna but see a good spot, check it out. If you see a lobster's tentacles, don't pull out the tentacles themselves. They're pretty weak and they'll break, and the lobster will go further into the hole. You don't want to reach into a hole because there could be a big crab, uh, meal, things like that, and you can get bit. Furthermore, your hand could get stuck and you could drown. So it's a rule, never stick your hand in the hole, just gently tickle them out. When you throw a lobster away that's too small, make sure to throw it away from your divers. When you're scuba diving and using a lobster bag, Make sure when you put a new one in that the others don't swim out. Here's one technique for doing that. When lobster are in the bigger coral heads or structure like that, make sure when you tickle them they don't swim out the back. Sometimes there are holes in the back or sometimes they'll just move around it. 
so you gotta really be precise with your tickle stick. Make sure all your dive gear is situated so things don't get in the way. We'll actually just have a clip on our dive bag and just let it sit there. And then we can lay our, all our other gear down and just use what we need. We use clips on it so when we're ascending, we can just clip it to our BCD and not have to worry about it. Be careful not to get kicked by your dive buddy. Remember, just gently use your tickle stick to guide them into your net. Remember, lobster are pretty strong with their tails, so make sure we have a good grip on them when you're transferring them from your net to your lobster bag. All right, guys, talk to me. Just trying to get all the idiots coming in here. Remember, get out early. During mini season, there are a lot of people down there. And you want to get your lobster from your holes fast before everyone else gets down there. Also, make sure to have a dive flag. And if you're diving, you may even want to tow one with you so other boats know exactly where you're at. two ways you can do it, at least two ways I know, you can uh, take the head and the tail and just ream it like that, and uh, then take the vein out, or what we do is we cut the head down the middle and cut the meat out so we can get more meat. So I say he splits the head. Got all that meat in the head. Give it to him. And you see he trims it out. Get all the meat. That meat, yeah, get the meat out of the fat part of the head right there. So take part of their antenna, break it off, basically go up their butt. He becomes a proctologist. When we're done with the lobster tails, yeah. we simply put them in gallon freezer bags and put them in the freezer and they'll last all year. Hey guys, thanks for watching my lobster catching video. If you guys have any questions um, about how to do things or if you have comments on uh, better ways to do things, uh, please let me know. Uh, just comment below. Uh, also, I have links above for um, more information on lobster and uh, various regulations um, for Florida and uh, different places. Thank you.